Rub up your engines! All right, if you've been following the pickup war, the never-ending pickup war with horsepower, there's a chance you can win the 702 horsepower Ram pickup truck. And don't worry, I'm gonna talk all about the truck. This is a charity that helps people worldwide. Charitystars.com slash Scotty. They're having a contest, a raffle, and you can win one of these 702 horsepower pickup truck monsters plus ten thousand dollars cash and if you don't win what the heck it's a real charity that helps people worldwide it's done hundreds of millions of dollars of charity work so it's a win-win for everyone and it's win-win for me i get to check this thing out and drive it around they didn't make that many of these things you're gonna find out the skinny on them right now to start out what's under the hood well it's all covered up with plastic i wouldn't have done that this is a hellcat v8 and you see a big piece under there that is a gigantic supercharger and not just any supercharger it's a 2380 cc twin screw supercharger that boosts up to 11 psi and as you can see over here puts out 702 horsepower and this trx is also a 4x4 let's just say you're not gonna get stuck in the snow it's got seriously aggressive tire pattern and you might think like i do how could anybody possibly control all that horsepower at high speeds and a thing that's as boxy as a pickup truck. Well, I got a speedometer. What does it end at? It ends at 120 miles an hour. And you might say, how could all that horsepower only go 120 miles an hour? Well, actually, it's electronically limited to 119 miles an hour. They weren't dumb when they made these things. If this thing went full blast in a pickup truck with all that horsepower, things would be spinning over like tops. People would be going way too fast. It's not a race car. See, it's got tons of clearance. Race cars have no clearance at all. They have to be very aerodynamic so they can have the wind pushing them down to keep them on the road. You don't want to be going 200 miles an hour in a pickup truck. Hence, it's electronically limited to 119 miles an hour and that's probably a good thing. Speaking of clearance, there's all kinds of working room inside this thing. It's not like it was hard for them to shoehorn this big Hellcat V8 into a pickup truck body. It's a big pickup truck. So it really doesn't have bad working space at all. Though the engine and supercharger is so beautiful, I don't know about this. I would have put a clear plexiglass one on. Now that's part of the air intake system. It's coming from there, from the scoops. This is not for show the air gets sucked in here. You want to get 702 horsepower, you need a lot of air. And of course, the supercharger, that rams even more air in. When I had the 2013 Shelby Cobra, it had 667 horsepowers in the supercharger. It didn't even have a front grill. It just had a big hole like a shark's mouth because it had to suck so much air because it wasn't speed limited and it went 202 miles an hour. Now, since this is speed limited to 119 miles an hour, this is plenty enough opening to suck enough that's not a problem they would have needed a much bigger one if they wouldn't have speed limited but i mean really can you imagine driving 200 miles an hour in a pickup truck unless you're at a racetrack going in a straight line it would not be a smart thing to do now of course if you're worried about gas mileage don't buy one of these things they eat up a lot of gas the entire vehicle is made for that power let's check underneath all right look at the lower control arm it is thick it is strong you look up, it's got the fancy TRX, active terrain dynamic strut system on it. Look at the shock. It's a very interesting system and it is rock solid. Look at the line that fits these Bilstein shocks. Look at it. This is thick. What's this? It's actually bolted on. This isn't some cheap plastic piece of crap like some of them are where all the power lines come in and they just snap in and it's plastic, eventually it cracks. Braided line solid bolts this thing is solid built now if you've been watching me for any length of time you know that i am not a chrysler dodge ram fan this particular truck looks to be an exception to me and on the trx even the four-wheel drive system is fascinating okay you got 702 horsepower you know what that's going to do to the rear tires they'd be burnt out all the time this is always in four-wheel drive you can go high low whatever there's four settings but it's always in four-wheel drive. You got so much power, you don't have to worry about not having enough power to run four-wheel drive. There's no arguing that. Check it out. There's four-wheel drive automatic, four-wheel drive high, axle lock, so you're stuck in the snow, four-wheel drive low, launch modes. Baby's got technology in it, but the sound, even the graphics are cool. There's nothing quite like a Hellcat V8 engine 
with supercharger. Yes, it makes noise, but it's a nice noise. It's not overly aggressive like an obnoxious Ferrari backfiring. It's certainly music to my ears. Now, of course, it's a pickup truck, but it's got a full cab. You can easily fit three adults in the back. He's got the seat full back. Look at the room. Gigantic moonroof if you want one. Just realized with pickup wars in full flight here, they only made 702 units of the special TRXs, and they were sold in a few hours. And of course, with 702 horsepower, you can tow a lot. This thing's rated at 8,100 pounds, but I'm betting you can tow a lot more than that. It's got one serious military looking rear end, fancy shocks in the back too. And of course, if you want to win a pickup or battle, realize you're gonna lose the gas mileage. These things get into single digits if you're driving them in town. And if you drive them really hard, I've driven some really hard, and I got like five miles a gallon <laughs> in town. So be prepared to spend money on gas if you want one of these beasts. Realize one thing, this may be the last of the dinosaurs, the last of the great V8 with superchargers, 702 horsepower. They're not making that many of them and in the future they probably won't allow people to build things to get gas mileage like that. But if you wanna get the last of the dinosaurs, be the last on your block to have the beast. You might think about buying one of these things. With all the modern conveniences, big old screen, you can look all around so we won't hit the lions at the end of the driveway. I particularly like the overhead view. That is so cool. Of course, it's a typical big pickup, especially with a 4x4. You're way high up in the air. And for a pickup truck, of course, it's a modern truck. With all that fancy suspension system by Bilstein, which is the top of the line shock and strut manufacturer, it really handles well for a pickup truck that's four wheel drive that has a solid rear axle. You can hear that supercharged whine. Just cruising around, it actually has a very comfy ride. I do have to say, they're not like the old pickup trucks that jostle the fillings out of your teeth. So it's off to the country to take it for a spin. It's not that supercharging whine. They're supposed to do that. Our little road test here. You can see I've been here before. And let's see what this 702 horsepower can do. Comes a supercharger. I'm totally disappointed, but look, he's got it set on valet setting, so they can't drive it fast. If you own one of these and you're having somebody park it, put it on valet. We're gonna take it off that in a second. Look at all this technology. Well, we're gonna figure out how to turn it off. All this stuff on and off but now we want to turn it off. So now we're going to deactivate it. You pick your own code. Now it's deactivated. Now we can have some fun. Here we go with the turn off. Speed when you want it. A lot less speed when there's a valet or perhaps your teenage son wants to drive it around. And if you don't tell him the code, he can't turn the valet off. As I said earlier in the video, you get a chance to win this, charitystars.com, you can buy tickets. If you don't win it, you're donating to a very good charity that's giving away hundreds of millions of dollars worldwide. If you do win it, you get the truck and $10,000 or they have a cash prize instead. If you don't want to get eight miles a gallon or worse when you're driving around. But if you want to win the pickup battle today, this Hellcat 702 horsepower supercharged Ram, it's at the front of the pack right now. And here's some bonus questions and answers. Jerry Russell Finch said, what's the worst repair you've seen on a car that came to you? It was a Ford Crown Victoria that a guy brought to me. It looked like a rat's nest, only they were wires. The entire wiring system of the car had been cut open and then just the ends of the wires that were broken were twisted together and they didn't even put twists on them. They just were sitting there. At one point in time, it looked like they tried to put electrical tape on some of them, but most of them were just bare metal, twisted together, and half of the vehicle didn't work. The brake master cylinder, uh, the idiot had put the wrong fluid in it. He'd put power steering fluid in it, so the whole brake system had swollen up and the brakes didn't work anymore. I see some disaster in the vehicles about that. So if you never wanna miss another one of my new car repair videos, Remember to ring that bell!